Hey quilters, I'm Pam Heller, AccuQuilts Cutting Expert. And I'm Erica, AccuQuilts Corporate Marketing Specialist. Okay, welcome to our special event called AccuQuilt Madness. Madness. We're super excited. Today, Erica and I will be battling for the best quilt block in a bracket challenge. That's right. And we've planned a lot of other fun for you. We've got fantastic prizes, incredible trunk show, and special deals for today only. Now, in case you didn't know, it is currently March, March Machine, Machine Madness. Madness. Right there at AccuQuilt. With that said, we're gonna kickstart today's show with a little competition between me and Erica. That's right, you may have noticed we can be a little competitive sometimes. Yes. We're gonna see who can cut fabric faster. Pam will be using the Go Big Electric. <laughs> yes. I will be using the Go Fabric Cutter. And because sometimes Erica cheats, uh, we're going to have Pam our can referee, be really pushy. Uh, Brock is going to be our referee. Yes. So Brock is our behind the scenes guy. Come on out, Brock. <laughs> Yay. He's our official referee for the day. He's our official official. Okay. Do we have instructions? So you will each be using your own individual cutters. Yes. Erica, you will have the go big. I'm and having you, the. Or you have the go big, you yes. have the go cutter. Yes. Yes. You each have your die and your fabric. Yes. And your mats. Yes. Okay. We're gonna cut. Whoever gets done cut cutted faster, yes. that's your winner. Okay. All so, right. Are you prepared? Because we got a couple other rules. I saw that. Put it back. We have some rules here. Okay. There's no tomfoolery. No tomfoolery. There's okay. no antics. No antics. There are no shenanigans. No shenanigans. And most importantly, yes. there's no cowbell. Okay. Okay, we know who that's directed at, yeah, don't we? <laughs> so. This one. That one. Okay. Made sure it's not on set today. All right, you know what? <whistles> Fowl. That is a foul. You keep moving her mat further away, <gasps> trying to make it harder for her to do it. That is a foul, and I'm not talking about the flying geese. <laughs> okay, okay. Fine, I'll behave. I'll behave. All right. Ready? Yes. All right. Okay. Set? Yes. Go. All right. Okay. So we can cut six layers of yes. fabric, right? Yes. Okay. No! Oh, no, no, no. That she didn't even layer fabric out right. That is totally cheating. I can't even believe you did that. And look, now it's all wonky because you've got every single. No, shape I know, there. but you didn't look. even lay out your fabric. Look we there. You told us we had to have our there. fabric and lay it out. Look I there, know. I won. No, you totally cheated. I won. You started before. I won. You did not. Official said, ruling. I won. Although Erica did not give it some love and slide the mat off, I am going to give her the win because she got it done faster. Oh, there you go. Ruling. No, she totally cheated. I That's understood just... the assignment. Hey, 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 no, I will, hey, hey, this is tomfoolery and I said none of that. <sighs> okay. Okay. Now, right. I will be back later on for other competitions, but until now, you two behave. Okay. Okay, Brock. Okay. She totally cheated. She did, I had no, to lay I my didn't. fabric out. We, that's how you do it, right? You lay out the dye, lay out you the lay your fabric out. So I was prepared. No, I'm just hey, saying. Hey, don't make me come back out there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, quilters. I took my pieces. It's okay, because she cheated. All right, we have special deals available for you today. Get your order in during the show. Use your phone's camera to capture the QR code, and it will take you directly to our site. That's right, and if you don't have a QR reader, just open a new tab in your browser. Type in accuquilt.com slash party to go to the site and place your order. That way, you're not going to miss a minute of the madness. There is such a madness or Shenanigans. Today. Shenanigans. No shenanigans, Brock said. No, I know. All right, the first promo code we have for you today is March 40, M-A-R-C-H. Four zero. <laughs> Using this code at checkout, you can take 40% off our dies, cubes, and cutters, which includes our ready, set, go, Erica, 40% off. No. It's true. No way. It is true. Three twenty nine. Oh my gosh. Yep. Some exclusions Whoa. apply, including that go big cutter, but three twenty nine dollars for the ready, set, go. All right. But if you've been eyeing our go big cutter, then we still have you covered. Use the promo code SAVE200 to get $200 off the go big. Now, quilters, remember, you can only use one promo code per order. But you can order more than once. That's true. I know. Is that an antic or a shenanigan? 
probably tomfoolery, but it's okay. That's all right. And don't forget, quilters, we're giving away free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. If you spend $150 or more, no code required at checkout to redeem this offer. And quilters, make sure you sign up for our text messages by visiting accuquilt.com slash SMS. You'll receive exclusive or, um, offers that you don't want to miss out on. That's right. And they get little reminders about our shows like yes. today. Yes, and special yeah. things. Stuff. Now, you can also find our products at your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer closest to you, check out our store locator. It's at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. All right, quilters, you can quilt now, pay later. For more information on financing through AccuQuilt, visit AccuQuilt.com slash financing. All right, let's dive into today's show, shall we? You bet. Okay, it is March. March is known for many things, yes. like winter coming to a close, we hope. Thank you. Finally. Um, our number one holiday, right? National Quilting Day. Yes. And a certain sport that seems to dominate everything right about now. Did you watch that certain sport last night? I did watch that certain sport. All of the sewing and work, housework that I do not get done in the month of March is due to that yes. sport. <laughs> All right, but for now at AccuQuilt, it means March Machine Madness. We've already kicked it off with our little cunning competition, which Erica clearly cheated. It also means some great deals for quilters who want to get started with the Go system, or it is a great time to upgrade to that Go Big $200 off. That's right. So continuing in the spirit of competition, we're going to show you what our different cutters can bring to your quilting game. And we've got three different co-cutters, starting with the Go Me. Yes. And do we have a Go Me? We do it right here. Oh, there we go. Our team is so good. They are. All right, so here's our little go me. All right, so look at this. So this is perfect. Here, yep. Yep. It's we'll gonna open up. it up just like that. Lightweight, portable, it is great for traveling. Yes. Like when I went to England and did our shows there, I would take this and travel with this all the time. Yes. Six pounds, go in my suitcase. Hello? No traveling. Oh. Oh. Traveling's a penalty. Oh. oh. Not that kind Not of traveling. Not that kind of traveling. <laughs> but good to know. Um, but it's great for travel. Like maybe this summer you're thinking about going in an RV or traveling right. to see grandkids. Right. This is great. Right. Okay. Now all of our cutters work the same. Yep. Um, they just come in different sizes. So should you want to talk about that die and so I'll talk about this The die. two dies that come in there, they're three inch finish sizes. This mm -hmm. is the quarter square triangle. Which you love. I love that because they're very hard to cut on your own. Mm -hmm. Quarter square is different because this is not the center, this is the outside. So your lengthwise grain, the tight lengthwise grain is gonna be on the outside of your block. Right. And you've got half score triangles. Right, and we've cut off the dog ears. We have that perfect quarter inch seam allowance. Now we can always cut six layers of cotton, which we showed you this morning. Right. Um, at the beginning of our show, but think about felt and wool, craft foam. I cut craft foam yes. all the days and paper. And so the Go Me comes with these two dies. Right. A mat. A I have mat. a mat right here. Let me grab it. Six by six mat. Yep. And a pattern book. Look, I have all the mats. All the mats. And a pattern book. Yep. So this is really great, um, portable, lightweight. Right. right. And the pattern booklet in there has a bunch of projects that you use just using the things that come in the box. Right. And you and I, um, I have one of these next to my sewing machine yes. because sometimes I don't do math well and I you need more pieces. Need more pieces. Yeah. So let's cut some half square triangles. Okay, let's I have do some it. scrap fabric. So the thing you want to remember is that lengthwise grain, nice and tight, mm -hmm. wants to travel back and forth across the die board. All right. And I'm going to just fold it in half here. And I love the fact that the Go Me is perfect for kids. You don't have to worry about them, you know, like scissors or rotary yes. cutters. And right? they're going to have great success. You know, um, four-year-olds are not known for their scissor cutting skills, no. but put they can certainly turn a handle and get perfect results. Right, look at this. All right, so we're going to give it a little love, slide that mat, don't lift. And now we've cut perfect half score triangle. There you go. So this is our Go Me. All right. So if you're wondering what the difference is, this is a Go Me. That's next, right. Erica, what do you have? The next player is the one and only Go Cutter. And the best way to get this Go Cutter is actually with our Ready, Set, Go starter set. Which is on sale, right? Yes. $329 and 329 some Yes. Okay. So you're going to get the go cutter. It's got a 10 inch. It'll use any of the dies that are 10 inch wide or smaller. Right. It comes with the eight inch cube. Great place to start. Two and a half inch strip die that every quilter needs. 10 by 24 mat. 
the Go Cube book. It's like a roadmap to getting started with your Go and a die pick. It is. So this is a special deal. I can't believe how low priced it is today. If you've been waiting to jump in, this is the perfect time. And I think if you're new to AccuQuilt, new to quilting, this is the great starter set, right? It is. You can just, it is. everything you need, just add fabric. That's right. And we tell quilters all the time, because we see messages all the time where people yeah. say, oh, I have the cutter, I haven't opened it yet. Yes. Okay, open the box. Open the box. If it's you're looking so for a box. sign, this is that sign. Open the box, open your cube, find some fabric, do some scrap busting. Yeah, you may have some fabric that you don't like so much. This is a great time to yeah. use it. I have fabric I don't love so much. I know, but we hate to get rid of it, don't we? Right, so yeah. I use it for test boxes right. and stuff. All right, next we have the MVP, or we should call it the MVC, which is the most valuable cutter. This is the Go Big Electric. This is the cutter that Eric and I use every single day, every single day. And I love it because all you have to do is push a button and it starts. That's right. So it's actually um, four inches wider than our Go fabric yes. cutter. So look at this. Oh, here's Erica's cheating blocks. Uh, the, okay. Your fabric on there. Shh. So, <laughs> so two dies can go through in one pass. You want to make sure that each of your dies have their own mass. Yes. We also have a variety of dies built just for the Go Big. That's right. Including two of our new squares. That's right. Right. The nine and a half inch cut and the ten and a half inch cut. Right. And it comes with that flying geese die, a mat, and a pattern book. Yes. So if you're looking to upgrade, or maybe you just want to start with this, this is this is a great place. This is to a start. great place to start. All right. Now today's show, as you may have noticed, it's already been a little different, but it's going to continue down that path. Now Pam and I have each created eight different quilt blocks. We selected our blocks from the 72 basic blocks that you can make with any cube because all the cubes have the same shapes inside just in different sizes. And this was really a fun challenge because I didn't see what blocks Erica chose right? and she didn't see which blocks I chose and then we sewed them separately. So yes. we have not yet seen each other's blocks. We have not blocks. yet revealed our blocks to I'm each excited. Other. And our team who is amazing, so huge shout out to our team for creating our brackets, have prepared brackets and our blocks are gonna go head to head to see which block wins our championship. Yes. Now, if you wanna take a look at the chart for these 72 mix and match blocks, use the QR code and it'll take you directly to the site and you can download this great reference sheet for free. You'll see that our cube system is based on that two by two grid, otherwise known as a four patch. That's right. Now, if you're a regular viewer, you may remember a certain competition that Pam and I had a few months ago where I won for the ugliest oven mitt. Yes. By a landslide. Okay, that's right. And we know what happened early in the show, so I'm looking to avenge my earlier loss. So as we move through our brackets today, <coughs> keep in mind that you're going to get to vote for your favorite block in our final four-patch championship round. Okay. Now, before we get started on our first bracket <coughs> matchup, I think we should give something away. You good with that? We should. Okay. You know, allergies in Nebraska. So bad. Uh, since we got cube blocks competing today, let's give away our Go Cube books to lucky viewers who registered for today's show. Let's do it. Okay, the first lucky winner of a Go Cube book is, drum roll please, Jan F. from Springville, Utah. Congratulations, Congratulations Jan. You're going to love it. And the second lucky winner is, drum roll please, Debbie O. from Iowa City, Iowa. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. <coughs> Iowa right next door. <laughs> Go Iowa in the brackets. Oh, All right, sorry. quilters, if you're looking for more fun and inspiration, join Miss Pam here for AQ Live every Wednesday at 12 noon Central Time. Now, what are you doing next week? We are making fun and easy Easter projects. Perfect. It's going to be great. Be sure to register for the event on our show on our events page to be entered for the win chance to win an exciting door prize. All right, I'm going to drink more water. Hang All on. All right, she's going to drink more water. We hope to see you there. <laughs> All right, now for the first bracket matchups, we're going to grab our blocks. Here's our brackets. Okay. So here are my first two blocks, and we put our names on them so we would remember. Yes. Okay. In our first bracket matchup, I've got the airplane block. Here, let's take this off so everybody can. Yes. Air, airplane block matched up with, we had to put sticky notes so we remembered. Yes. Okay, matched up with this four patch variation block. Okay, so first of all, um, I did this with the eight inch cube. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna finish to eight inches. Okay. 
<laughs> love it. The thing I love about it is it's just repeating, right? It's just right. half square triangles. Right. This one it was actually one of my favorite patterns because I used the 12 inch cube. Oh. So this square here is actually a square in point shape number mm -hmm. six, but look, it's big enough you could use oh, applique shapes fun. in it. So you could think about for spring or for, <coughs> um, you could do shamrocks, you could do summer, you could do stars. Yeah. I love this. Okay. okay. All right, so if you move yours over just a little bit, here's my bracket. I have got Peace and Plenty. Now that is this little one. Okay, I love that because it looks like Starburst. It does look like Starburst, it really does. And I use the four inch, you can tell I use the four inch cube. And again, it's got my quarter square triangles I like so much around the outside. And then this is all half square triangle. And you do love the four inch cube. And I love the fact it's that- very similar. The 12 inch cube. To your airplane block. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. But look how different it looks and very different fabrics. And then this is the traditional sawtooth star. And this was with the nine inch cube. It has grunge. It does have grunge. I love all have things grunge. grunge. She's gonna love that. Um, and this is of course a classic flying geese. So mm -hmm. this is that quarter square triangle again, the small half squares on either side. Right, and flying geese in every cube. Shapes every cube. Four and five. Yeah. All of them. All right, so quilters, here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna pick the winner from each other's brackets until the final four patch championship round where you, our viewers, will turn the voting all over to you. That's right, and I'm gonna give my win to, I'm gonna go with your airplane block. Okay. Okay, I love just the classic design. It's very clean and sharp. This was fun, but I'm gonna go with the, the airplane block. And I do love the fact that it's those modern colors and mm -hmm. look, there's some little rainbows in the little way. Rainbows, it's so, we're, we're very color and fabric driven, I think, at the end of the day. We are. All right, so my airplane block is gonna advance to the next round. Now, as far as your blocks, Erica, I am gonna name, oh gosh, this is hard, because I do love this sawtooth block. I mean, mm -hmm. it's such a classic. It is, it is. Classic. And what size cube did you use? This is the nine inch. Oh, wow. So look, if you use the 10 inch cube, this would be a five inch finished block, right? Mm -hmm. I just love the size of it. Yep, yep. I do. And the 12 inch, you could make a six inch. So you could use the six inch right. cube. Could you make the six inch cube sawtooth block in the center? I suppose you could. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Okay. So um, I'm going to name, though, Peace and Plenty as the winner. Okay. And the reason that I, it is because look at these tiny little quarter <laughs> squares. It's I mean, true. I mean, truly, truly, truly. Okay. All right. All so right. we'll put that so one. This one is going to advance to the next round. Yes. I'll put it over there. Okay. I know. All right. Now the next two I have are, here, I'm going to take my little pins off. Um, Hang on one sec. We had so much fun playing with just the basic blocks. So 72 basic. There is so much that you can do with those. Don't yes. overlook those basic 72 no, blocks. No, and you know, I think probably, I have only made probably a dozen of them ever. Yeah. And it was so fun. And we, Erica took one side of the page and I took one side yeah, of the and page. and we didn't tell but each was, other. But it was interesting because you and I often had the same kind of, you know, same kind of shapes, which yes. was fun. Okay, so this one is my um, Clay's Choice Block up against my frayed four patch. Oh. I know, I think this is so fun. This so is Clay's fun. Choice, I love, first of all, I love the fabric of I this one. I do too. I think this is so great because it finishes to a nine inch, right? I use my, um, oh, wait, 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 hold on. What are you doing? I don't talk. I'm what talking about my block. Okay, so I'm going to, I love this because I love the colors and we don't ever have to um, have, you thought maybe it had parallelograms, but it actually just yeah, has it's half square. Half square triangles. But I love it because it's gonna match up with the tangled oh, star. Yeah, yeah. And I think that that is the best part of it. These are both eight inch blocks and I Ten, think that they, nine. aren't they Ten. eight? Here, we can measure 10, good job, good call. Um, 10 inch blocks, because they look so great together. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I often think that with our cubes, we should really think about, hey, what size, what kind of um, bobs do you want? Right. And this bob 
part of that match 40. Yes. Okay. She does not get bonus points though. I that. That totally was not get part of the bonus competition. points because I came up with other things besides my black. And then this one is super fun. Um, I just love the bright colors of it. And I just love that basic four patch in you the know, middle. And it comes back to the colors. It comes back to mm -hmm. the colors and the fabrics. So, right. all right. So for this round, I've got my, let's see. And I get extra points. You don't get extra points. I do. Okay, so for this block, I have my spinner block. And this is with the six inch cube. Okay. Right over in front of you. And then a trellis block. And this I made with my 10 inch cube. So this Look at is how a little fun bit bigger. Is. So these are both really okay. fun. Okay, you want them this way. Yeah. Okay. We'll do them this way. So spinner the spinner is here, trellis is here. Now again, we've got that that kind of we're we're feeling the half square triangle right. over here. And half squares here, but then this is a whole square here. Right. You get a whole different look then with this stripe, don't you? Right. And so see, it's very similar to this block, mm -hmm. right? But instead of this half square triangle, it, it's, it's a full. It's a full square. Oh, I like that. Now this one actually is a parallelogram. Yes. And so that means it is a directional shape. You have to pay attention to it. You pay have to be on your game mm -hmm. and pay attention to it. I just liked it because I liked how the the dark kind of pulled across and the light. I just like how it, it all locked together. Right, right. And I do love the colorway of this, you know, kind mm -hmm. of the solids in the pattern. I, you know, this was one of the reasons I like this because we had solid fabric and patterns. Okay, lay yours here so I can see it. Oh, okay. okay, okay. All right, and then this one was fun with the stripes and then um, the tiny little blocks. You yes. do like yourself a tiny I little do. block. I do. I do. Okay. I need to pick your winner though. Yes. And keep in mind, I get extra bonus points for don't matching it up with the bob. Don't get extra bonus points for getting it with a bob, but I do pick that block. That's okay. Clay's choice. Is that yes, Clay's choice? Yes, choice. Okay. All right. Put so I'm going to put away. it over here. I know. Don't forget, put match 40. Put it away. It Because it would also go with my trellis block. It would. All right, so which one are you gonna choose? All right, so this one was really hard too because I, you, like I say, I picked a block that was very similar to this one, but I'm gonna go with the trellis because of those parallelograms. Mm -hmm. So keep in mind they're directional shapes, but you add shape number five in the outside, it makes those perfect rectangles. Okay. All right, All right so, so keep that one it's there. It's gonna advance to the next round. I'm loving this. All right, so next. Third matchup. Third matchup. Hold on, here I'm coming. All right. The first matchup we have, the next matchup we have is Flying X, and then this is Hourglass Star number one. Oh, block. these are nice. These are Hourglass one and two, mm -hmm. you know, kind of thing. Okay, but this one, um, so Flying X is great. Gosh, look at us. We're pulling all our strings on here. Don't <laughs> over don't do threads. Don't pay attention to us. Um, this one was great because it looks really complicated. Mm -hmm. but really, it's half square triangles and squares. Right. So you just use shape two and five. Mm -hmm. And I like that pinwheel block in the center, but then it kind of extends it mm -hmm. out a little bit, which is great. And then this one didn't look like spring. I just thought it, it was so fun. It does. And this is one of those blocks that has flying geese. So it's just shape four and five and then shape three, which is our half square triangles and two in the corner. Mm -hmm. Again, this is very similar to your um, block that you have, yes. right? Except the center has half square triangles. Right. So I, these are my two of my favorites. I like Very it. much, I like that. Okay, so what do you have? Well, I have got two more blocks. So this one is called Susanna. Are you Susanna, loving my quilters? Susanna, which I really love this one. Okay. It turned out super cute. And the other one that I have is called Whirlpool. Okay, first of all, first talk of about all, the fabric in this okay, one. Okay, so this one, this is Whirlpool. We've got some grunge. Yes. And we've got some batiks pinks. and we've got some tulip pinks. And I think it's, is it called fairy dust? It is fairy dust. Mm -hmm. Tulip pink fairy dust Thank that really, pulls, that really pulls all of the colors together. And this looks like, again, this looks like a complicated block, right. but this is all half square triangles. Right. It gives that look at those parallelograms, right? 
And this one was just happy. This is just a happy block. Happy spring. It's just happy spring, and it's got little bees in the fabric, which mm -hmm. I love. This is our square on point. So this yes. is how it looks when you take that small half square triangle and put it on all four sides. Right. And how simple is that then with just rectangles? And again, you could make this out of a 12 inch cube, and that shape would be big enough for some. Sure, okay. sure. And you should know, quilters, uh, we did not go out and buy new fabric. No, this all came like out all of our came houses. from our stash. It all came from our stash. Okay. I, I, so we have to do a little deciding here. So you okay. put yours up here so that I can okay. see them. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So for this round, you know I love pinwheels. I, I know. And so I'm going to go with your flying X Excellent. for this round. Excellent. Although right. I love the color combination over there. Yes. It is about design. It really is. It really is. And for sure, for sure, I'm casting my vote for your Whirlpool block <laughs> just because it looks complicated mm -hmm. and yet it's so easy to do. Now, here's kind of our pro tip. Mm -hmm. um, when you're doing this, you're going to press your seams open. Yes. Right? Because yes. otherwise you're just going to have tons of bulk. But there's, this is there's so a lot sweet. of seams. It's just a sweet block. Okay. Okay. So this one's going to advance. Okay. All right. We've got one more bracket in this first round. And I know we both plan to finish strong. So Pam, what do you have for this okay. last round? Hold on here. I have sticky notes and pins just for Erica. <laughs> just for me. Just for Erica. Okay, so the first one I have is my mosaic number six versus my hourglass star. And let's talk about the hourglass because, oh wait. You've done it again. Yes, You've done it look. again. Ten inch rising star block. I don't know. I don't think I look? need to talk to the referee about now, this. Now listen, he doesn't. You're pulling in other blocks, and <laughs> yeah. this was not part of the deal. I, you know, I'm just giving our viewers some options here. So this looks beautiful with this block, and that has yes, that yes, same very good look. And again, ten inch finish. So this is our rising star die. It is part of that March 40th. Yes, it is. So make sure. Oh, it's not. It's one of the exclusions. Oh, it's sorry. new. It's new. It's new. Yeah. It's new. But it's okay. it anyway. It's fabulous. Yeah, it's fabulous. And this is the block that goes with it. So again, I used that 10 inch cube. And then this one is super fun. This is mosaic number six. One. Now I want to talk about this for just a hot minute <laughs> because I chose my blocks on how they looked. Yes. This one actually has Y seams. Oh, Right, and oh. I didn't know that until I made it. Oh, right. <laughs> so, um, right here, there are little Y seams that yeah, you have to that. put that in. I know, but right? They look lovely. They look lovely. So, this is the block that I chose because if you're thinking, gosh, I don't know how to do Y seams, and well, I don't want to make a, great a whole big quilt, block. Yeah. yeah, just make this practice block and just get your scraps practice doing Y seams. And we have one other um, block in our 72 mix and mm -hmm. match that have Y seams. So a great way to practice. Eric and I have done lots of videos yep. on how to make Y seams. Um, the, the, big, uh, the big pro tip is mark your fabric. Yep, that's it. Use a reuse. That's ruler. it. Okay, so these are my two favorites. Keep in mind I get extra points because I matched that one the over rising. there. Just put it over there. Just put it over there. I got it, I'm good. All right. All right, what's in your final bracket? Okay, so I went with a classic to start with. Okay. This is an uneven nine patch. Oh, I do like that block. And it's just, it's just such a basic, but you know what you do with the colors is gonna be all about your final design. Right. This one just is basically tone on tone fabrics right. and a little grunge thrown in. And I just love how it looks. It's right. basic. This is an easy starter block for anybody. Right. And I feel like those, it just needs three shapes, two and eight and one. Yeah. But again, you could chain piece, a great way to oh, bust yeah. up your scraps and your stash. Yeah. And I think that was one of the most fun things about this competition was getting into the scraps. Yes. And, <laughs> and you know, in some cases, the size of the block I made was determined by the size of the scraps that I oh, had yeah, available. Absolutely. And this one is darling. And this then is my windmill variation. Yes, with our flamingo. With flamingos. So, so cute. Now tell the story of the flamingos because Ella has something made so out of. The flamingos came to make the dancing flamingos wall hanging for my granddaughter Ella. Yes. And it was to be a wall hanging because she has a flamingo themed bathroom. But 
um, she immediately threw it down on the floor and rolled up in it, and so it has never yet hit the wall. Yeah, but super but that's sweet. Okay. Cause she I love it. it. And again, look, Erica, we had took that pinwheel, turned it on point, point. right? Mm -hmm. And then these classic, just shape number fives yeah. over and over again. Yeah. I just think it's beautiful. All right, so do you want to choose mine? All right, let's see. Pam, you were right, this is a close bracket. However, I think, actually, I love I love the look of this, but I am gonna go with your hourglass block because I love how the quarter square triangles make that design in the center. Right. Now we have a, before we put this block away, we have a pro tip, right, on we how do. to sew we do. these um, points, right? So when you're sewing your uh, flying geese, when you're sewing your flying be geese, it's you want to have the flying geese block be yes. on top so you know where your points you are. Just where your point is so that you, you can stop there. Stop right there. You can be just a thread over so you get that. Extra credit. <laughs> okay. All right. So now here's your final choice. Oh, hands down. I'm going to go with the windmill block just because it's bright and springy and fun. But I also think of the colorway. So, um, you know, a great way to bust up your scraps. I could totally see this in like 4th of July. Oh, yeah. Or, you know, other spring colors. But I do love the flamingo, which was one of our favorite dyes ever at AccuClub. Hey, is the flamingo part of the March 40? Get you a flamingo dye. Ooh, yes, yeah. we do have a flamingo dye, and she's fabulous. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, that's right. And you, our viewers, are going to get to be our final decision makers. So when we get to that final matchup, so stay tuned. Right. Okay, so my blocks are in the left, right? That's the ones you want to follow. All right, quilters, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok to see our behind the scenes videos and all of the antics, though they're refrained from We've today. We've been told that we're I know. Can't have said antics. we can't have no antics or shenanigans or tomfoolery. Yes. We always do have so much fun, though, and we love sharing our AccuQuilt community's quilts and stories on our social medias, so be sure to follow us. All right, quilters, don't forget, we've got special deals today. Use the promo code MARCH40 to take 40% off our dies, Easy. our cubes, and our cutters. I can't believe it. Madness. Now, this includes that Ready, Set, Go that we talked about. It's $329.99. If, you if you've been thinking about jumping into yes. the system, this is a great time. Some exclusions apply, so be sure to check the website for details. Right. Oh, here, and I'll open this back up. So the Go Big okay. Cutter is excluded from that offer, but we got you covered. Yeah. We have a promo code called SAVE200, which will allow you to take $200 off the Go Big. This is the cutter Eric and I use every single day. And $200 is a great value. Yes. And don't forget, only one uh, promo code can be used per order, but you can have more than one order. Well, that's right. Plus, you can get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. and you spend $150 or more, and you need no code to redeem that offer. I love it. All right, so up for, again, for the next bracket. Okay. Okay. So I have my airplane block okay. up against my clay's choice. Oh, this is tough. I know, because they're both really bright, beautiful blocks. Mm -hmm. And again, um, this was fun because I, I could just pull in my scraps. You and I love those good windmill good. blocks, yep. good pinwheel blocks. But the thing that's great is that the, the quarter um, inch seam and the dog ears are off, so they line those pieces up beautifully. Right, and that looks complicated, but it wouldn't be hard. Yeah, and I think you're going to have a really hard choice between these two blocks because they're pretty amazing, right? Yes. Wouldn't you have to say? That's true. That's amazing. True. It might amazing. have to be voted on. Yes. Okay, but what do you have? Those are very nice blocks and all, but, all right, let me okay. get my blocks out here. All right, so we're getting ready for yes. Erica's two blocks. Very nice blocks yep. and all, but, okay, here's what I've got. I don't want, I think you're getting a little, a bit ahead of yourself no, here. Listen. Mm -hmm. no, a little listen. ahead of yourself, don't forget, this is, I am the reigning champion. Okay, here. you're the reigning champion for an oven mitt, not for blocks. I mean, blocks are hard. Oven mitt was super easy, the and I tried to make it nice for you. It was supposed to be. Just, we did exactly. Hey, yes. Hey, time out, ladies. <laughs> yes, bro. What okay. did I say? Tomfoolery. Uh-uh. Antics. Uh-uh. Shenanigans. Uh-uh. Cowbell. Uh-uh. 
<laughs> well, that's okay. for her. Well, we didn't have any antics. We didn't have a shenanigans. She, oh, she's oh, saying that her oh, looks are better than mine and her oven is better. All you do is antics at this point. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying that sometimes Erica cheats. Okay. You, you both have cheaters. <laughs> but before I have to call it technical so well. on either one of you, yes. you just got to calm down, take a deep breath. <sighs> through the nose, that's fine. <sighs> It'd be fine. Erica, be please proceed with your next blocks. Thank you, Brock. Okay. Thank you, Brock. That's kind of a little suck up right there. Okay. Peace and plenty. Okay. Peace and plenty. Look, four inch block. Okay. And then the trellis block. Okay. Okay. Were these the ones? Yes. Yes. All right. So peace and plenty and trellis block. So talk about which one do you think so, was the most difficult? Why was it you hard know, to put it together? You the, know, the four inch, I mean, there's definitely a lot of seams in this. If mm -hmm. we take a look on the back side, you're going to see a lot of seamage going on. There. Right. So there are definitely a lot of seams, and it takes, you know, it's funny. It takes just as long to make a four-inch block as yes. it does a ten-inch block. I thought okay? the same thing. If you make the same <laughs> block. It's like making doll clothes. It yes. doesn't take any longer than making something for yourself. Right. It's just that it's way smaller when you get done. Right. So that was definitely, I think, a little bit more challenging with this one. Right. This one, of course, we've got the parallelogram. So the challenge mm -hmm. here is getting your parallelograms cut and laid out correctly. Right. And you and I have a good tip for that, right? Is That's to right. Make a test block. Yes. <laughs> always, yes. You want to make a test block right. or use a solid fabric, yes. as I did here. Yes. But yes, you definitely you want to. But this was, I don't know, they're both really easy. This one, other than getting your parallelograms cut, is a really simple block. But again, it looks complex. All right, well, I think I really do love this trellis block, so I'm gonna give it a win for this round. Okay, And All right. what are you gonna give a win to for me? Uh, let's see, I think I'm gonna go with your, who we had the airplane and, and Clay's, Clay's Choice. choice. Yep. I'm gonna go. Don't do it this way. I can't say no to a pinwheel. I'm gonna go with Clay's Choice. Excellent choice. Remember quilters, it goes with our Tangle Star Dye. Okay, so does this one. My next uh, matchup has Flying X. Okay. And the Hourglass Star number two. Okay. So I'm gonna say probably this was, actually this was probably the most difficult to sew. Okay. Because you wanna make sure you get all of those little points. Yes. You know, it was really easy with the half square triangles. I just pressed through the dark side. Right. Right. Um, but with our Flying Geese, uh, you, you, it was a little more difficult to sew. Okay, okay, yeah. that's fair enough. Now my next so two. So do you, do you have a vote for this one? Oh, let's see. Those are both, they, they are strong. They are okay. strong contenders. Um, I'm gonna go with the Flying X. Okay, right here. I really am. You okay. know, it's, it's, I don't know if it's the pinwheel thing, but it's definitely the look that you get. And right. I love how it, the, the look you get that it's spinning out. Yeah, just spins. You know, it's got so much movement to it. I think that's what I like. Right. All right, so my final is here. I had my Whirlpool. Right. And my windmill variation. Excellent. So this was definitely, they're both, they're both, Great blocks. This I was in the six inch side. I really love this one because I love how the fabrics came yes. together. It, it again is a lot of seams. Right. And these look like flying geese. And at first that's what I thought they were, but right. they're all half square triangles, which right. makes this a much easier block. But if you were a new quilter, I think you'd want to do this in maybe a 10 or a 12 inch size. Oh yes, for sure. Now for this sure. one, the windmill variation, this is the 10. It would go perfectly with that rising star or that tangled star, you know it? Too bad it didn't it have really a sample would. with it. Yeah, but you know what? Okay. Somebody else brought it and you saw it. There so. you go. I love this one. So, I do too. Um, and I think, you know, you made a really great point about fabric. Yes. Sometimes quilters, you have to think about the fabric, think about how's it gonna go together, mm -hmm. what's the pattern gonna look like, uh, because I honestly have made really ugly blocks. You know, and we've discovered that in any cute block, yeah. it's going to look ugly if you don't like the fabric. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. So use fabric that you like, that's yeah. the key. All right, so I love them both. Um, oh, 
really drawn to the Grinch, but I'm gonna take windmill variation just because it's so springy and it looks yep. so beautiful. And I, I'm already in my head thinking about how you could have 4th of July and those kind of blocks. All those things, okay, right. all right. All right, so now here we go to our brackets. All right, quilters, we right. are ready. We're gonna be ready for that final it's the yes. final four patch. It is the final four patch. Yes. Now quilters, if you want more inspiration like what you see on our shows, remember we have three new blog posts every single week. We've got innovative ways to use the dyes you already own and maybe inspire you to get some others. You want to subscribe to the AccuQuilt blog so you don't miss a thing. You get notifications that say a new blog you is live. Did. You did. Did you see the one on Tuesday? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, so fun. And okay, I, I want you to know I've worked at AccuQuilt 10 years and I just now learned last year that the blog has patterns that are only available at the yes, blog. Yes, exclusive tutorial. So yeah. be sure you subscribe. All right, quilters, we're down to the final four patch with our final brackets leading to oh. the championship, which you are going to vote on. Now, I want you, you to see me bring home a win. All right, so choose mine. All right, so here are my two final blocks. So I have Clay's Choice and Flying X. All right. And listen, I know that Erica, she, or hers are fine and has flamingos, but I just love this one. This is so fun and bright, and you could totally do it in all the different colorways. You could have green and black and pink and black and all the yellows and all of those things. And then this one is really fun. Again, it gets that extended windmill look. So these are my two blocks, and they should win. Strong offerings for sure, but don't get ahead of yourself. My final two bracket box are pretty strong too. Now I have got the trellis and the windmill variation. Okay. And I love both of them. I do think it's interesting that we ended up with almost all 10 inch blocks yes. in our final challenge. Yes. But I picked one of the smaller ones for yours. Yes. That's interesting. Yeah. So I love these blocks. I love how this trellis looks. Again, I think I like them both because they've got a lot of movement to them. Right. I also like the fabrics. And, you know, I think that's one of the reasons why I like yours too. I think I have, I think we have, prop, I have all of those fabrics. I have so much fabric. So much of the same, same fabrics. But um, we've never shopped together for fabric. No, Good. no. All right. Well, while these are impressive, um, I am going to send the windmill variation to the final round because I don't think it's gonna beat out either one of mine. Oh. That's why I'm gonna do it. <laughs> well, I beg to differ. However, if I am gonna be honest about picking the favorite one, I'm gonna go with Clay's Choice. How come? Because I like, I like how you did the colorway. Again, it's got movement in it. And I right. like movement in a quilt block, but it's not too much. It's like just enough. Right. And I think it's a very versatile block. I can see doing a lot with it. Right. And I do love the fact that it only has those half square triangles and squares. In yes. It, which is fun. All right, quilters, are you ready? Voting is now open. I can hardly wait for you <laughs> to call me the winner. Um, are you going to, it's my, vote for my favorite block, which is Clay's Choice, right? Are you going to vote for that? is your favorite, my windmill variation block full of flamingo fun. Oh, gosh. All right, if you're watching by the registration link or YouTube, you can click on the vote box below or to the right of the chat box. And if you're watching via Facebook, vote from the box that displays over the video. I wonder when I win, is there a prize? Do I get a crown? I don't know. So, I think when I, I win, I'm getting a new tiara. <laughs> there you go. All right, wait, votes come in. Let's get in today's trunk show. First up, Erica has a bunch of them over here. Let's I do, I do. Okay, let's get out. So and this, this is our Cube Epic Mix and Match Sampler Quilt. And this is one of our favorites that it we really love is. showing off. Yes, and I'm just going to hold. Okay. I think I'm going to hold them in quarters. Okay. So that you can see my smiling face. Okay. So All this right. one, we need to see, yep, yeah, we'll see kind of the whole thing. We'll hold the whole thing up in a minute. Yep. But what's cool about this epic quilt and why we call it the epic quilt is because it uses four blocks. It does. It uses the six, the eight, the nine, and the 12 inch cubes to make different blocks. And it uses those same shapes then to make these three dimensional, these little prairie points yes. that are go throughout the quilt. 
And, and I this just is love it. Perfect example of how the quilts are the cubes all work together. Yes. Right. We talked about that a little bit yesterday. Like you could, you know, make different size cubes with you know blocks using right. a variation of cubes. Right. And we just made all different blocks. All the days. All different sizes of cubes. All the days. So we love that one. Okay. Now the next one is another big one, and this is a classic. This is the Go Bright Sampler Quilt. So quilters, if you just want to pick your 12 favorite blocks and make them in the 12 inch size, this is the 12 inch cube in this one. Right. Make, you've got a quilt. We've used the two and a half inch strip die. Ooh, part of March 40. Part of March 40. Everybody needs one. Or the Ready, Set, Go. And we've cut the sashing. We've cut our corner squares with it, and we've got this amazing quilt. And the great thing about this quilt is, if you've got the Ready, Set, Go today, which is that sale price of three twenty nine, right. you can totally make it with your eight inch cube. You can totally use the two and a half inch strip for the sashing and the corner stones. Yeah, it's just fabulous. Hey, listen though, if you're getting the eight inch cube today, you want the eight inch setting triangles. Oh yeah, we haven't talked about that, but yeah. yes. If you want to turn your blocks on point, you're going to oh, need yes. a setting triangle. We unfold it all the way. Oh, yeah, or? here, let's do. Yeah. And I'll find the one, make sure the basket's the right way. Because there's a basket there's on a it. basket down there. Maybe we'll just hold it sideways between the two of us. Am I good? Just here, I can hold sideways. it sideways. There we go. There we go. So you can see how stunning those blocks are. And it's just kind of random with the colors. It's the same color palette. Um, you might recognize it as our AccuQuilt color palette. And right there here in the corner where my hand is, that looks very much like uh, Clay's Choice. It does look very much yeah. like it. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. It goes in parallel with Which her. is the winner today. Vote for Clay's Choice on the voting. She's so pandering to you. Are you really going to let her get away with it? All right, next we have our nine inch cube sampler throw quilt. So we used our nine inch cube to make this. But we also used the nine inch companions on this. Right. And this is a great day to get companions. So if you don't have our companions, those are kind of like um, expansion packs or add-ons right. that bring more shapes to the party. Right. Because you've got those basic 72 blocks right. with your mix and match. When you, for each companion you add, you get another 72 box. So that's taking you up to 216 box. And Erica, do you want to show the little bow ties block? I was block? just going to say, this is our little bow tie Everybody block. Everybody asks what a bow tie is. Yes, ties this is like. the bow tie block right there. So that is that little, you put it together. It's so cute. And those strip dies between it are the one inch finish. That's the one inch finish, one and a half inch cut. Right. Over here, we've got our kite. We've got some really fun shapes in here. Really our beautiful. signature block. Yeah, it's just great. All right. Next up, we're going to go big. We are. Go big or go home $200 off or go big today. This is the Go 12-inch cube sampler throw quilt. Now, I'm this is hold the big. same basic pattern that we just saw, but it is a different colorway, and it's instead of the 9-inch cube, it's the 12-inch cube. It is. So you want to talk about that black that's yellow and blue right yeah, there, so Erica? this is our triangle love and a square. One. Don't you love this? Yeah. And then it's teamed up with quarter square triangles from the basic mix and match. Right. Look at the look that it gives you. It's like fish. It is. I just think it's so cool. It's, it's one of my so favorite blocks. So this is companion angles that you'll find that shape in. Right. Along with that kite. There's the right. kite right there. But again, you're going to go back to your mix and match to get those shapes to work with it. Okay, show them that one. That was Here, my favorite this, of all the blocks. This is the half rectangle triangle. And you know, we think about this because we put it on the sides of the kite right. and the triangle, triangle in the square square. center. But look how wonderful it is when you just use it as the rectangle, the right. half rectangles. And this is made with our 12 inch cubes. So think about those bigger strip dies for the borders, like three inch finished or four yes. inch finished. Yes, okay. we've got a couple other, let me point out a couple other okay. shapes. Here's the trapezoid. Oh yes. We love the trapezoid. It fits with the small half square triangle yeah. from your mix and match cube and the large half square triangle or two of the quarter square triangles. Yeah, it's such a versatile one. That's one of our um, shapes that you, know, you and I talk about this all the time. We've never cut trapezoids by hand. Never by hand. Because there is a die for that. All right, now we've seen the biggest. Now we're gonna see the smallest. This is so cute. This is all right, so I'll cute. hold it like this. Okay, so this is the Go four inch cube sampler throw quilt. Again, this is the same pattern right but we've got different fabrics and it's in the four inch finish size and right. I don't know there's something about these four inch blocks they're so right. adorable I can't say no to them 
Right, and you can totally make mini quilts out of those four inch cubes mm -hmm. and a mini quilt, 24 inches dimensions. We learned about this. it last week. Look at this, there's my yeah. trellis block right, right there. there. Yeah. Bitty bitty, look how and different your, it looks. And your um, offset four patch, what is that called? The, right underneath it, what's the oh, one? The uneven four uneven. patch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, super fun. And this sashing, look at this cute sashing. That's the strip die that cuts at one inch, so it finishes at half an inch. You could never okay. cut those pieces You're by hand. You're never going to cut those by hand. So um, March 40, get that die. Yeah. All right, we have one more. One more. And again, this is also with our four inch cube. By the way, if you don't have the four inch cube, you, just, you totally need the four inch cube. And today's a really great day to make sure you have all of the companion sets. Yes. People ask us all the time, can you use the companions without the mix and match cube? And the answer is no. Yeah. You want all of the full potential. So yes. 72, if you just have the cube, add those two companion sets, over 216 mix and match patterns. Then you add in those setting triangles yes. and the ability to easily on set point. them on point and they're gonna all look totally different. Look how different they look, look if I set different. them on point. And you know, this is one of my favorite box and it's with the kite. Yes. The kite is such a versatile shape. And I have to tell you, the four and the six inch cubes are so great for using up your scraps. Yes. Yes. If you can't bear to throw out your scraps, I right. mean, you can dive into your crumb bin, right? Right? Yes. And get little tiny scraps for those. Now, Missy Shuffler made this as a pillow because you can yes. see it's the pillow form. Uh, but you could totally make it as a wall hanging or could. a table topper. Good. I'm loving the whole pillow thing. We have so many great pillows yes, right we're now. We're into on our pillows website. right now. Quilts, there's all these patterns available as free downloads on the AccuQuilt website. Be sure to get your patterns downloaded before your die arrives, so be ready to go. All right, quilters, voting is now closed. Erica might as well just go home. So while Pam gets ready to concede the race to me, the team tallies the votes. We're going to give away our final prize of the day. So let's give away another Go Cube book to another lucky registered viewer. Let's do it, because they're great, great inspiration. Our final winner of the Go Cube book is, drum roll please. Corey B of Cedar City, Utah. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right, now, because I want to win today's bracket challenge, and we're live, we can't do anything about it. I, I'm going to give up uh, the giveaway game by giving away a free Go Me to a lucky registered winner. So look at this. One winner because I can do it. I'm going to give you away a Go Me with those two dies. You're you welcome. Know, they already voted. That's okay. You know that voting's close. I know, but I'm just saying thank you to all the viewers. You're who, not swaying no, anyone. It's so. okay. I'm just saying thank you to our registered viewers for watching our show today and so many of you who voted for me. All right, and the lucky winner of a Go Me fabric cutter is, drum roll please. Brenda W. of San Marcos, California. Congratulations, Brenda. Now, Brenda, keep this right by your, um, keep it right by, by you. your sewing yep. machine, because that's how we do it. That's how we roll. Okay. All right, quilters, be sure to register for all of our upcoming live shows, including, including AQ Live, because we are drawing winners for our Spring Into the Quilting sweepstakes. That's right, during every Tuesday event, we are announcing the weekly winner of $100 in AccuQuilt reward points from our list of registered viewers. That's right. That's so great. And the sweepstakes grand prize winner to this. gets $500 in AccuQuilt reward points. And that winner will be announced on the April 26th show. Oh, listen, you're gonna wanna register. Oh, absolutely. For each live event you register for, including Wednesdays and our off, Fridays, we have lots Wednesdays, of Wednesdays, whenever we show whenever up, whenever we show up, um, you'll receive one entry into the grand prize drawing. So take advantage by registering. All right, quilters, it's time to announce today's quilt block winner. Let's bring Brock back out to make the announcement. Yes. That way he can console yes. Erica when she loses. Hold Pam up when she faints dead away because I've won again. All right, we asked, you ready? Yes, we asked which block you the viewers liked better. Was it Pam's? Was it Erica's? Yes, 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 yes. A lot yes. of votes came in, but if we could get a drum roll, please, we will announce the winner. Pam's the winner. Yes! Oh. Yes, yes! By a landslide. Not now, by I a can't, landslide. I, I can't Did say not. this for certain, that some of the viewers may have felt sympathy for your oven mitt being just absolutely demolished by Erica's earlier this year. 
but you at least get okay. the victory today. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. Sorry, Despite Erica. Despite her earlier antics. Yes. All right. Thank all you, Brock. Of, all of your Hubble blue. Hubble <laughs> blue. <laughs> oh, it is good to be the Congratulations. champion. Congratulations. Thank you, dear. Now, Thank you, dear. I want you to remember, I have not rubbed it in about that oven mitt. So I expect you to be a classy winner. There we go. And okay, just so you know, Eric and I had so much fun, so much fun making, making these blocks. And really? I really think it was really a great test to our, you were right, you looked at a block and you're like, okay, now what size am I gonna make it? What right. straps am I, there was a thought process here. There was a whole thought process. Yeah, yeah it, it was, was great. A great. It was great to go through, I, we had fun. Yes, yeah, fun. And I liked all of the blocks. I liked all of mine. I liked all of yours. Yeah, I did too. They were great. Yeah. So fun. All right, quilters, don't forget, we've got great offers for you today you don't want to miss out on. To get your order in during the end of the show, use your phone's camera to capture the QR image and go right to the site. If you don't have access to a QR reader, no worries. Just open up a new tab in your browser. Type in acuquilt.com slash party to go to the site and place your orders. Now, the first offer we have is the promo code MARCH40, which will take 40% off of our dies, our cubes, and our cutters. Some exclusions apply, so check the website for detail. Listen, this is a fantastic day to fill out your cube collection, your yes. strip dies, right. your favorite spring appliques. I mean, just anything you've been eyeing, this is the day to and get it. 320 29 for that ready set go which is great you can't beat it and okay so I, I even though it was a little pandering I did show the bob dies <laughs> yes it but, was you know we have so many great bob dies we do included in this March 40 do. that I just think are really classics like um morning star and storm at yep. sea and all yep. of those um I I just think that this is a great time at 40 percent it is and clearly we've shown all the variety that's in those cubes to yeah. match up with them yeah all right, and like we mentioned, the Go Big Cutter is excluded from that offer, right. but no worries. Use that promo code SAVE200 to take $200 off the Go Big. Oh, here, my drink is on there. That's <laughs> and, and remember, the one, it, you can only use one winner, promo huh? code uh, per order, but you can make more than one order. Well, that's true. Now, quilters, you'll get free shipping if you live in the contiguous U.S. and you spend $150 more. No code is needed to redeem that offer at checkout. And don't forget, you want to sign up for our text messages by visiting acuquilt.com slash SMS. You'll receive exclusive offers you will not want to miss. And you can also find our products that are your local AccuQuilt retailer. To find the retailer close to you, we have a store locator at the top of the page at AccuQuilt.com. And for our quilting friends in Canada and the United Kingdom, you can conveniently shop with us on Amazon Canada and Amazon UK. Both our dies and cutters are available on those platforms to make life easier for you. Yes, thanks for viewing with us and watching That's with right. us. That's right. Remember quilters, you can quilt now and pay later, get financing today through accuquilt.com slash financing. All right, it is time for me to go home and bask in my glory. Um, and we're gonna sew a little bit because we have stuff to do next week. Are we you gonna do. watch a little bit of uh, I that could other watch sporting? a little bit of that other sporting event. Yeah. I love it, I love it. Quilters, we hope you enjoyed our battle for the best block. That's right, now be sure to come back and join us again next week on Tuesday, March 29th at 12 noon central time. We've got a new trunk show called Spring Into Spring. We'll be sharing some all new ideas and inspiration to get you ready for springtime project making. Be sure you register for the event on our website. I hope it doesn't snow. Yeah, it's been like not the happy weather yeah. this week. Hey, but Quilters, thanks so much for joining us today. And if you've been waiting for our show to end before you buy, now's the time. Here's the link, get everything you need before items sell out. Before we end, let's give a huge shout out to Brock. He did yes, a great job today. thank you, Brock. You All did right. a great job. Thank you. It was so fun having him on the set with us instead of just over there talking about us. Yes. And remember, <laughs> Aki Quilt, we help you cut time. So you can quote more. See you Tuesday. Bye.